Look, uh, that yeah. lucky woman, it's back to rock the nation and deliver the incredible story of our favourite daughter, suffragist, feminist and cyclist, Kate Shepherd, as you have never seen or heard her before. To tell us more about this kick-ass punk rock musical, please welcome to the Cafe Two of It Stars, Phoebe Hurst and Amy Straker. Welcome, guys. Yes. Thank, you. Hi. Thank you very much. I've got to start, we must say congratulations. Uh, critics absolutely raving about this show. That must feel mm. good. Yes, absolutely. Uh, it's pretty uh, crazy. This is the third time round doing the show, and to have the praise that it's getting is amazing. And yeah. And it was originally put together for the Christchurch Arts Festival. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. what's what's do, is there anything different about this version? Well, we started off in a tent, yes. um, so we we're in the Spiegel tent for the Arts <laughs> Festival, and then when Auckland Theatre Company and the Court Theatre collaborated to put on the next one. Um, we were in Sky City, so a ginormous theatre, where we had lots of extra bells and whistles. First one was very DIY. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was literally <laughs> costumes were made lots out of, of gaffer tape. Uh, gaffer tape. Yeah, oh, lots oh, of right. good old yeah. Kiwi yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then um, and then now for this tour, actually, we because we're in different venues every time, so we revisited the Spiegel tent, which was amazing, and then we're going to be in the um, the concert, concert chamber, chamber. Here in Auckland. Yeah. Wow. Oh wow! Talk about mm -hmm. heaps of different places. Yes. yes. Now, for those who haven't been lucky enough to see it, mm -hmm. what's the show actually about? So the show is about, uh, as the title kind of alludes to, is Kate Shepherd, that bloody woman, which we was she was actually called by um, Richard Seddon. Uh, <laughs> yes, King Dick. And uh, yeah, it's about her story or her journey of um, going from being part of the Women's Christian Temperance Union, so trying to ban booze, to becoming a suffragist, and then yeah, winning the vote, and all the people that helped her do that or tried to stop her from doing that. Yeah. Okay, and Amy, who do you play in the show? Like, put us in there in the theatre. Take us through the cast. Okay, so we've got <laughs> Kate Shepherd played yes. by Esther Stevens. We've got Richard Seddon played by. Jeff Dolan, and then there's four of us who run around like crazy people playing yep. various characters. Yes. So my main character is Jenny, and Jenny is um, Kate's best friend. So my, um, I we all have our little moments yes, within the show, which yeah. is really amazing. But I sing, sing a song called "Man with Two Wives." Yes. And, um, Phoebe, you play loads of different. I characters. play a few. I play Mary Levitt, who was a travelling. Uh, I suppose she was a preacher, I guess, um, who was part of the International Women's Christian Temperance Union, and she was she inspired Kate to start up the New Zealand branch of that. We also play Ada Wells, who was again was very close to Kate um, and was part of that suffrage movement. And I also have this wonderful character called the Vicar, who I just totally made up and stick gaff on my face. Oh, that and, sounds great. Yeah, I like that's that my one. favourite. <laughs> um, now, she really took it too to the PM of the time, Richard, as you mentioned, King Dick, Dick mm. said. And mm -hmm. so, what does he do in the show? Does he do something a bit, a bit different? He's outrageous. Yes, he is. And so many of his lines are verbatim. So a lot of the stuff yes. people go, oh, that's outrageous or that's crazy. Because like, comedy as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Totally, totally. Yeah. People, it's so lovely hearing the audience laugh because it's those genuine kind of shocked. Um, is that one line we laughs. were talking about just yeah. before, um, which this is a totally verbatim line. Um, Women, as compared to men, have five ounces less brain. <laughs> That's totally like a thing that was said in, in Parliament that was like one of the... This is a fact. Yes, yes. It's, it's been proven. <laughs> Didn't you know? Yeah. And he Watch actually... Your words he, he, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm watching very carefully. I'm surrounded by women right now. Um, <laughs> so he actually raps, doesn't he, King Dick, in this, which is quite yep. cool. And yes. is, it, is that how the title of the show came about? Because he used to, you know, the media and him, he used to refer to yep. Kate Shepherd is that bloody that woman. Yes. Yep. Okay, cool. And live band? Yes. yes. All very talented and wonderful human beings, yeah. So how do you take, you know, such a pivotal moment in history and turn it into a punk musical? That must have been some skill. Yeah, well, Luke DeSoma and Greg Cooper, yes. who wrote it, mm. they had this idea of um, really feeling very inspired by her story and imagining if she were to exist now, she would probably have been part of the punk movement. Uh, yes, right. yes. Okay, you know? cool. Um, so she was, you know, she wasn't a punk. She wrote lots of letters tirelessly and drank lots of tea yes. and had lots of meetings. It's so that was her punk, version. Yeah. yeah, seriously punk for the 1800s. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, the way that they've sort of mastered it together, the two of them, Greg's actually written a couple of the songs as well. Mm -hmm. um, and... 
using different genres of music to portray various moments mm. throughout history. Yeah. We had Luke on the show last week. Yes. Yes. Oh, was it, no, before you went away, wasn't it? Yeah, yes. yeah, he was, uh, what, a, what a fascinating guy. He's got some real talent there, hasn't oh, he? Yeah. yeah, he's a little firecracker. He is a little firecracker. <sighs> yeah. And you mentioned Gregory Cooper, who yes. he's responsible part from a couple of the songs for the dialogue as well. Yes. Yeah. And so is it mostly comedy or how does it how does it work? Yeah, I think a lot of it is comedy. Like That's the way I describe it. And then it will just sort of hit you right in the gut with yeah. some emotion because it's it's an incredible story in regards to it's a New Zealand story. It's kind yes. of a big deal. It's yeah. a huge yeah. deal. We're the first country in the world where women were given the, right, given to the right to vote. Mm. And we as a cast are flip-flopping between like hilarious, hilarious to like okay now we're going to be really serious and say something super poignant. So yeah, well, yeah. Speaking of that, you know, being serious, yes. uh, Kate Shepard clearly made a lot of sacrifices, didn't yeah. she? I mean you must have learned a lot about her doing this show. Yes, yeah. yeah. What are some of the sacrifices she's, she's made over the years? Her entire life was just around the betterment of, of society and standing up for what she believed was right. So I think a huge chunk of her life was, yeah, solely devoted to that. Mm. Uh, yeah. And what do you think she'd think of modern day, what's happening now in the, the world of politics? <laughs> Gosh, it's so hard to know, isn't it? I think Let's she... ask Kate. Yeah. <laughs> Kate, for Kate. Yeah. Uh, I just think she'd be standing there just really encouraging people to exercise their right to vote. Yeah. Right. Yeah. For whoever yeah. it is that they feel is going to make New Zealand a better place. Yeah. Um, she battled hard to get us a vote, so let's make Absolutely. sure we actually use it. Absolutely. Um, so what about, Eddie, talk about taking the show overseas? There are whispers. Yes. Nothing official. No, but it's a great New Zealand story. It would be fantastic, yeah. wouldn't it be great? Yeah. yeah. I'd and love that. And share it with the rest of the world. And never look at the $10 note the same again. Totally. No. No, and very timely with the election this weekend yeah. as well. Absolutely, yeah. Great to have yeah. you on the show. Hey, yeah, thank you so much, yeah. guys, for joining us. Thank you. Thanks that for bloody us. woman, you can't say that title without going, that bloody woman is on <laughs> tour right now playing tonight in Auckland and then heading to Dunedin, Nelson, Napier and Tauranga as well. For ticket details, you can go to tourmakers.co.nz.